We're here today with the Panache Artist Group. They're kicking off their plans for the Panache Art Show and Sale. And today we're talking to Norman Lenore Trudeau Seymour, who's one of the artists here. Thanks for sharing your uh, art with us, Norma. Would you like to start and tell us a little bit of... Okay. Thanks, Kim. Um, my interest in art began probably when I was very, very, very young. My mom was an artist, and this is the only painting I have, or picture of a picture. Um, she died when I was six, and that's the only one I can ever remember seeing. But anyway, I was told when I was under six, or whenever, an older sibling said, you know, that you um, can't paint. So I just, they were older, and I figured wiser, so I just believed them. So all my life I just said, no, I can't draw a stick map. But then I also have a daughter-in-law, as time goes on, who is an artist and won scholarship after scholarship, and I love her very dearly. And she invited me to her ladies' time out, where she is giving back to her ladies' time out by teaching a couple of 10-week sessions of art. And I said, oh, Barbie, see if I can join, because, you know, I love you so much. If there's an artistic bone in my body, I'm sure you'll bring it up. So anyway, that's where my art life really started. And approximately oh, 19, 1996, her two first sessions of 10 weeks. And uh, so before I finish the class, oh, yes, this is very important if it's still tapped. One of the first sessions we had, she, she told her, oh, the first class probably, she told everyone to bring a picture, a National Geographic. And so when we got there, she said, okay, choose a picture of a person and draw it. Well, mine, I did the best I could, and he looks like Dracula. Oh, <laughs> this is the right side around. Anyway, so that was my very first attempt, and that was September 1996. But before the 10-week sessions was finished, I had a portrait of my late husband. I'd given it to him for Christmas of 1997. 1996 for Christmas, and he passed in 1997. So this is the first portrait I ever did, and Barbie taught us how to do portraits by graft. And I took it to uh, a, uh, anyway, it went for a third prize out at Spruce Meadows. And I was very happy, and it was in Volkler Sr.'s very, very, very first art show, this painting was. And it's, uh, when I brought it here, I had uh, a couple of years between 96 and when I came, because I didn't know where to go. One of the gals that painted hers with pencil print was absolutely beautiful. But I asked her to do mine. She says, no, Norma, you have to learn to do your own. So anyway, in about 1998, probably in the year, my aunt, who goes, used to go to Bochler Seniors Artists, phoned me. She lives on the, lived at the time on the North Hill and said, could you please draw, drive me to art class over at Oak Cliff Seniors because, you know, her neighbor was sick. So I said, and maybe they have somebody there that can teach me how to paint this pencil drawing of my husband, this portrait. And I've been here ever since at Oak Cliff Seniors. Mind you, I've dabbled in outside too, but my main source has been here at Oak Cliff Seniors. And Loretta, is the gal that said she could teach me how to color this. And it's in a pencil crayon, this portrait is pencil crayon, the coloring is. And so you can tell how, how unassured I was of myself. I couldn't even color anything in pencil crayon. But anyway, I was very happy that Loretta was able, uh, going to teach me. And the bottom line was, I didn't figure this, this hobby was for me, and I was pretty well ready to drop out. But I came for a while yet, you know, and Lorette, one wonderful thing that Loretta did was every Friday she used to teach to give a demonstration in whatever medium she chose. And one day she, she had this watercolor painting going and it reminded me of when I was a child and I obviously, so far back I couldn't tell you when, but the bottom line I just could see the painting that I was working on. It was something you did with your finger painting. I can see the blue, vivid blue all floating all over the page and how wonderful feeling it was and what fun I had doing that watercolor. So I borrowed my aunt's um, brushes and, and Claire Scott's um, something or other colors or something and I used my son's computer paper. I wouldn't even buy paper until I knew I was going to stay. So 
Then I, when I knew I wanted to stay a little longer, then I did a portrait of my son. This is John Trudeau, my son. And then a portrait of my daughter, Julianne Trudeau. And these two are pastels. And this one, this is a portrait in pencil of my father. And um, I could never draw in pencil because I erased all day long. So Loretta Secord, our, my first book with senior's teacher, she said, Norma, why don't you draw in ink? Because you can't erase. So as time went on, I, I had fun drawing in ink, you know, bring in flowers from the yard, etc., and draw them in ink. And even one of my flower pictures on, is on front of a booklet that a, a group chose to put on the front of their booklet. Anyway, this painting here is in watercolor. This is my mom, and um, it, it is my very best watercolor portrait I've ever done, and I'm very pleased with it. I also like to have it in oil, so I'm just kind of last year, and this year probably the only years I've dabbled in oil very much. And so this is my first mountain peaks using a palette knife. And this is another oil here. Now I like to do my own thing also, and I'll show you on the next row more of what I mean. But this here, this one's title is Emma Lake, Saskatchewan. And that's where my husband and I, uh, his auntie uh, Isabel has a couple of cabins there, and we used to go out on the boat. Now our last row of paintings here, you'll really get an idea of how I get a little carried away and like to do my own thing. Uh, we were, my sister and I were traveling in southern Alberta, and she wanted me to take shots of the wheat fields, the golden, golden green, etc., etc. Excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I couldn't get a picture that I liked, so I just thought I'd, I'll do my own thing. So in this one is called Dream. And as far as I'm concerned, these are the beautiful wheat fields. And then it looks like, you know, soldiers have gone away to war and the women are out waiting for them to come home. And there's a dust storm, etc. You can make it into whatever you like. And getting close to the end, this is one picture. Uh, I love waterfalls and mountains. And this one I call Living Waters. And uh, obviously, not particularly obviously, but I will, this will be in my own possession forever. And then these two, last but not least, this is one of the first self-portraits I did. And it was a fun event. It was an event where we got a prize I won a prize for the brightest hat. So naturally, that's the title of this, this self-portrait. And that was here at Vocalist Seniors. And this one was with pastels on sandpaper. And last but not least, is this just a copy of my granddaughter a few years ago, and uh, Sarah Jane. And um, so I think that pretty well wraps it up. And thank you for this opportunity. And, and all of us to the artists in the coming, upcoming art show. Can you tell us a little bit, Norma Lenora, about the art show and sale? And how long you've been, so actually you started with Panache about, you're saying about 1999? The picture of my late husband is, uh, was in the uh, Oakland Seniors' very, very first art show. Great. So can you tell us a little bit about when the artists meet? Oh, it's been very, it's, it's varied over the years. I but know, when uh, do they meet now? Now we meet um, Thursday. And so there's three different classes going on Thursday. And we start, if you want to go to all three classes, it starts at 9 o'clock. And each class is two hours long, with half an hour in between each class. And the last class is at 2 and it goes to 4. Great. Thank you very much, Norma. My pleasure. Thank you.